I should probably start getting used to the shadows again. Who knows how long I have left in the sun. I know. Doesn't mean it stings any less. Maybe never seeing the sun again is just the price of freedom. Oh, I'm glad I still have the power to surprise you. Even if it's the only power I have left. <laughs> Maybe. But even if I could control it, it's a dangerous game. I'd spend every day waiting for something to go wrong, for the tadpole to find some new trick, reassert itself, make me a slave again. I think I do. Assuming we survive, of course, because a horrible death is always just around the corner with you. I'll have to. But that doesn't mean I have to like it. There's... something I'd like to show you, if that's all right. Something out in the city. I'll try to restrain myself if you do. Something I haven't shown anyone else. This way. It's not far. The graveyard is appropriately silent. There isn't a proverbial soul around. Perhaps. But some things are classics for a reason. Two hundred years, and I never came back. Not since the night I woke up down there. I had to punch a hole in the coffin and claw my way through six feet of dirt. Then when I finally broke the surface, retching up dirt and congealed blood, Cazador was waiting. From that day on, I was his. Until today. Maybe. But he did take it. There's almost nothing left of the person I was. Just a name on a rock. <laughs> Exhilarating. Terrifying. Exhausting. For nearly two centuries, I stalked the streets like a ghost. And the person I was lay here. Dead and buried. Now I need to figure out who I am. What I want. You. I want. You. You were by my side through all of this. Through bloodlust and pain and misery. You were patient. You cared. You trusted me when that was an objectively stupid thing to do. I feel... Safe with you. Seen. And whatever the future holds for me, I don't want to lose that. Thank you. Well, I should probably fix this.
I've been dead in the ground for long enough. It's time to try living again. With everything that life has to offer. I guess that depends on what your idea of a little fun is. If a night of passion is on offer, I could be persuaded. You know, I didn't care for you when we first met, but I do now. Being with you is about more than lust or manipulating you into a tactical alliance. I love you. I love this. And I want it all. It feels ridiculous to still be thinking about Cazador. He's gone. I'm here. I won. But I still keep reliving everything that happened, playing it over and over in my mind. Uh, I have to hope so. And if not, at least there's only so much damage they can do in the Underdark. But that first rush of freedom can be intoxicating. I didn't always make the best decisions when I first tasted it. They'll need guidance. <laughs> no, no. Um, much as I'd like to become a lord ruling over the Underdark's vampire spawn, we have unfinished business with the Mind Flayers. After that, uh, who knows? Everything that happened to those spawn is my fault. In a way. <laughs> I suppose that's the less convenient side of freedom. Having to live with the choices you made. Back at the ritual, all I could see was the power on offer and the safety it promised. I was so blinded by it, <laughs> just as Cazador was. But you saw something in me, someone else I could be, someone who could break the cycle of power and terror that started <laughs> centuries ago. You saved me back there. I may not have appreciated it at the time, but I do now. Thank you. <laughs> so am I. As fun as all that power would have been, this feels more... me. When I look at my future, anything and everything feels possible now. And I get to share it with you as a partner. And... Equal. You saved me from myself and let me walk a new path where I can be free. Truly, honestly, free. This is a gift, you know. Thank you. I won't forget it. I hope there's nothing troubling you, my dear. Well, Now's as good a time as any. <sighs> Nothing special, of course. You're only the first person who I truly care for.